Welcome to the latest updates on the Buzz UG and before that I would like to remind you to subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now going to the details of the stories I have for you right now. So finally Spice Diana and Shuba Karunji have buried their hatchet. I mean we all had it in mind that these people do not connect. I remember some time back on social media there was a backlash between Shiba fans and Spice Diana's fans. Uh, even at some point people started demanding for a battle between the two. But guess what? Uh, there is a video circulating on social media and in this video they are pouring sweet words to each other and both are very happy to be together at that particular moment. I have been told this happened yesterday at Spice Diana's EP release party in Munyonyo. Uh, let's first of all watch the video. I'll be back shortly. <laughs> it's been a while, it's been a while. You look so amazing. I love you so much. Let me tell you guys, she's one of my mentors, yeah? Yeah, the, the negative media has been trying to spoil that, but it's not gonna change. It's not gonna change. I love you so much, and thank you for changing our industry. Thank you for what you do for the women. I mean, for all of us. I love you so much, so so much, and thank you for honoring my invitation. This is beautiful. Um, man, for me moments like this as a woman, they make me so happy. Because I'm a feminist. I'm not a fake feminist, but a real feminist. So I really love moments like this. I've had so many of my fellow artists in the big building. I've seen the males. I've seen so many around you. But me, it's Pisces night. Congratulations. I'm, I see you. I came here to tell you that I see you. I respect you. I respect your hustle. Yeah. I came here to tell you that I know that the males in the industry started this by dividing the females so that they can keep winning. But now they can't do that again. We are going to unite together. We are going to support each other. I'm here today for you. Everybody's here today for you. I can't wait for the day I can do anything you would want me to do. I'm here and I hope you know that I'm here. Thank you so much for inviting me. Guys, it's Spices Night. Let me hear say, female future is now. The female is now. Thank you so much. I love you so much, Spicy. Thank you for this moment. Good night, and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much, Mogele Shiva and Alizamani. This means a lot to my career. It means so, so much. I love you, Shiva, and I don't take this moment for granted forever in my life. Thank you so much. I want to thank, once again, every artist that made it tonight to this. It's not a concert, like I've said, but thank you for making it so big. So... Wow, wow, wow. Guys, this is really nice and uh, personally, I think that's the spirit that we all need in the entertainment industry. Congratulations to you Spice Diana and Shiba Kalunji. May you keep your friendship at 100%. Now, in other news, uh, yesterday I told you that Omoro County in Northern Uganda decides their next member of parliament after the death of the former Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Jacob Olanya. So finally, the Electoral Commission announced Andrew Ojok, the late Jacob Olanya's son, as the elected member of parliament. Uh, he won with 14,224 votes and in the second position was NUP candidate Simon Tulit from His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi's camp. Uh, he managed to get 1,633 votes. Uh, he was also followed by FDC candidate, that is Odong Justin, and then others followed. 
However, this election has been described by the opposition as one of the worst elections we have had in Uganda. Agents of different opposition candidates, especially agents of NUP candidate Simon Tulit, were arrested and taken away to different detention centers by military and Uganda police. Now, the leader of opposition in parliament, that is Mathas Mbuga, assured Uganda police and UPDF that there is not going to be a day when Ugandans will let this country be ruled by a section of people in uniform who think that power belongs to them because they have guns. Uh, he says they will continue fighting until Uganda is free. <laughs> Netuwa etuwa sanga wansu wemiti, abanyu wenguli, abali kumbalua, abali kumbizi, kwe munu kwa wabati deko wadewa ze kubichi. Abakulu, tuwa weche muso ulo kola. Chua ngeloku nyiki za anti, temuina buso uzubu teka teka kalulu. Nife tuwa waza kato honde, anti abantu wangu lubachi la zenti, chivaga la bachi manyi. Na yeko wana ili mbade mu, naba tujo. Ewe sajia sajia vilu hebi kwa dibikuli wa kayanja. Kayanji, asika, kalangwa. Kalangwa ya wada kuli ya chokevi okulo honda wano. Na <laughs> Tujia kuliruwa ni yokusinga kutuwa kumundu wa semba yori. Demi kono jaba na nyinyosu jaba bakute mundu. Na wabeka anga bizo kulo oza nti. Ine guanga liyabu. Kwa te mundu ule nsinge kufira ngukula biyo ya gara. Njala kwe baza kandidu wa fe. Mwana musaye montolit. Okumali ya nukwe wa yomu vizu vya nabi ISM. Nukutio uolewa. Nukujolo ungewa. Nifuji liko leduwa kubantue. Tumwe bazo gumikiriza. Yatu musawalika kugwa mma nye timu yona. Ya NUP. Momoro, o o o teka kulonda, si bovuna, si si muri mo, ova si binu, ite kwa kio kibio kulonda, tu gobe ida kusala ukwa bantu, kusala ukwa bantu kuku tuita, kubanga bantu, wabe ranga wenye dobozi ya bokuvayo, ukulonda chechimu ku mukisago fono kuli ya dobozi ya bantu, e dobozi ya momoro tuli mani, e dobozi ya momoro, tuita ambuli ya kumundo, e bade tambla, e rasinga bade we kaka sana tiba inu bogiswa Na hindo tuwa ya ambyo kwa sa mkisa wa kubanika. Ntitiba soola kwete ngelila. Ni wawa agaraba tiba ina busozi kwete ngelila. Ito tujia chikola. Ni wana sayo kulonda kwebi alo. Ukwa wa kume nzizi. Tujia kuteka teka okula gensi. Ntiba nuba achipo kwe. Beka ngeza kweka ngeviliza. Mweba linyo. Well, there you go. That is the leader of opposition in parliament, Horebo Mathas Mbuga, and he comes from His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi's camp, uh, that is National Unity Platform. Now, in other news, another accident happened yesterday in Chegegwa district. Uh, according to reports, uh, five people died on spot and six others were rushed to hospital in critical condition. Uh, some survivors of this accident attributed the accident to overspeeding, and Uganda police says they have already started investigating the cause of this particular accident, and uh, they will be communicating very soon. Uh, may their souls rest in peace. Uh, that's the latest news I have for you on the Buzz UG. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly do subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Thank you.